welcome everyone in this video I am going to talk about uh, the process of finding the inverse of a matrix using the Gauss Jordan method so uh, to understand the process what we have to do is that we take the matrix A which is given matrix and we write the augmented matrix AI right so uh, to start with we start with this augmented matrix and on this augmented matrix we perform a number of elementary row operation so what we do we perform a number of elementary row operation and the elementary row operations are decided in such a way that it should be uh, the this matrix should be uh, reduced to this matrix i and a inverse so my aim is to uh, reduce this matrix into identity matrix and if I do so uh, what I get here on the right hand side is nothing but the inverse of this matrix so this is a very simple process so uh, let us solve this uh, this is a 2 cross 2 example so I am calling this matrix A and to solve this we start with the augmented matrix AI okay so what is this AI matrix we have 1 3 2 5 and we have 1 0 0 1 so to make it an identity matrix the 1 1 element should be 1 which is already 1 so this is a nice situation now I have to make everything under that 0 so to do that we need to replace R2 by R2 minus 2 times R1 so what I will get I will get 1 3 1 0 and 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 5 minus 6 is equal to minus 1 uh, uh, 0 minus 2 is minus 2 and 1 minus 0 is equal to 0 right and what we get is this now the next thing is that we have to make a 1 here in uh, 2 2 position so to make a 1 in 2 2 position I replace the second row by minus 1 times the second row right so we get 1 3 1 0 uh, 0 uh, and uh, here I think we have uh, made a small mistake so when I was writing R2 goes to R2 minus 2 times R1 it was 0 it was minus 1 0 minus uh, 2 is minus 2 and here it is 1 minus 0 so this term will not be 0 but rather this term will be uh, what this term will be 1 right so now the uh, second row become 0 if I multiply it by minus 1 so 0 1 2 and minus 1 right and so once we have got 1 1 along the main diagonal now for this one I have to make the element above it 0 so how can you make the um, make the element above it 0 by replacing the first row r1 by r1 minus 3 times the second row so I will get uh, 1 0 0 1 this will become identity matrix and here 1 minus 3 into 2 6 so 1 minus 6 is minus 5 this will remain 2 and uh, this will remain minus 1 and minus 1 into 3 is 3 so 0 plus 3 is equal to 3 so we have got this matrix so this matrix is identity matrix this matrix is a inverse so a inverse is equal to what a inverse is equal to minus 5 3 2 minus 1 and to verify that whether it is inverse or not you can just cross check it just multiply the given matrix by a inverse you will get the identity matrix so if you take this matrix and multiply here you will get the identity matrix so please do verify okay so now we are taking the uh, 3 cross 3 example and uh, 3 cross 3 example will involve a lot of computation so you need to be uh, very careful about it so I am going to uh, start with AI the augmented matrix and I am writing uh, slightly uh, smaller so that I can uh, uh, manage the things here so here we have minus 1 1 2 uh, 3 uh, minus 1 1 uh, minus 1 3 and 4 and what we need to do we need to add the identity matrix that is 1 0 0 0 1 0 uh, 0 0 and 1 on this uh, what is the first step the first step is that I have to make the 1 1 element as 1 so but it is minus 1 so what we can do we can multiply the row 1 by minus 1 times the row 1 so uh, it will become what it will become 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 0 and 0 this will be the first row second row and third row will remain unchanged so 
this is what we get in the second row and in the third row we have minus 1 3 4 0 0 and 1 okay so this is the first uh, step now uh, what we need to do we have to uh, make this element 0 and this element 0 so to do that uh, we can uh, you know use the operation what operation I can uh, replace the second row by uh, second row minus three times the first row and the third row r3 by r3 uh, plus r1 right so if I do that what will I get the first row will remain unchanged means it will remain 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 0 and 0 and what will be the second row so uh, second row uh, it will become 0 and it will become 0 because this is how it has been done and uh, here it is minus 1 so minus 3 uh, into minus 1 if I am multiplying the first row by minus 3 it will become plus 3 so minus 1 and plus 3 so it will become 2 right uh, it will become how much uh, 6 so 6 plus 1 so 6 plus 1 will become 7 and uh, this will become uh, 2 right so uh, what uh, this uh, element will become not 2 this if I am multiplying this by minus 3 now so minus 3 will it will become 3 and 0 plus 3 it will become 3 it will uh, remain uh, 1 and it will remain 0 no change in that now come to this uh, third row so we are adding so minus 3 and minus 1 it will become 2 and uh, 4 minus 2 so it will be also become 2 0 minus 1 so it will become minus 1 0 plus uh, 0 so it will become 0 and 1 plus 0 so it will become 1 right now uh, 1 1 position is 1 everything below that is 0 now I go to the 2 2 position I have to make this 1 so to make it 1 what I have to do I have to multiply the second row by uh, 1 by 2 times uh, the second row so the new matrix that I will get it will be uh, 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 0 0 right and uh, it will become 0 1 and 7 by 2 uh, 3 by 2 1 by 2 and 0 and third row will uh, become 0 uh, 2 2 minus 1 0 and 1 okay so up to this I guess it is uh, clear now uh, what we are uh, expected to do after this stage so I have got this one here and uh, I have to make the element below this zero and element above this zero both the elements should I I mean I should change it to zero so to do that I can use the operation what operation I can use uh, I can use R1 can be replaced by R1 plus R2 and this element uh, this row R3 can be replaced by R3 uh, minus 2 times R2 so the matrix that I will obtain is I am writing here the first row uh, 0 plus 1 so 0 plus 1 will remain 1 uh, this will become 0 minus 2 and plus 7 by 2 so minus 4 plus 3 by 2 so it will be minus 4 uh, minus 2 and plus 7 by 2 so minus 4 plus 7 so that is 3 by 2 you need to verify whether it is uh, okay or not and uh, then we get uh, uh, minus 1 plus 3 by 2 so I will get 1 by 2 uh, 0 plus 1 by 2 so I will get 1 by 2 and 0 plus 0 so I will get 0 so the first row is this second row is not changed because second row is uh, remain unchanged so 0 1 7 by 2 uh, then 3 by 2 then 1 by 2 and then 0 and third row will change so this will become 0 this will also become 0 and you have multiply this by minus 2 so it will be minus 7 and you have 2 so 2 minus 7 so this element will be minus 5 now here you have minus 1 and you have multiplied it by uh, minus 2 so 2 to cancel minus 3 and minus 1 so it will be minus 4 this element uh, you have multiplied by minus 2 so minus 1 and 0 so it is minus 1 and here it is 0 so if you multiply it by 0 it will remain 0 and if you add it here so you will get 1 so this is what we have got 
now uh, everything below this is 0 everything below and above this is 0 now I have to make this element as 1 so it is very obvious that I have to multiply the row 3 by uh, how much by uh, minus 1 by 5 so r3 goes to minus 1 by 5 times r3 so the new matrix that I will get it will look like what I am writing here 1 0 3 by 2 uh, 1 by 2 1 by 2 and 0 so first row will remain unchanged right second row will also remain unchanged so it will remain 0 1 7 by 2 uh, 3 by 2 1 by 2 and 0 and third row will become 0 0 1 and it is uh, minus 4 so minus 4 will become 4 by 5 it is minus 1 so it will become 1 by 5 and it is 1 so it will become minus 1 by 5 right I am writing it clearly minus 1 by 5 okay okay gentlemen now we have to make the element above uh, this 2 0 means here it is 7 by 2 so I need to replace uh, R, uh, R2 by uh, R2 uh, should be replaced by R2 minus 7 by 2 times R3 and R1 by uh, 3 by R1 minus 3 by 2 times R3 so I am uh, performing this operation and I am trying to somehow manage in this so I am going to replace uh, the row let me write here row 2 by row 2 minus 7 by 2 times uh, row 3 and row 1 by uh, uh, row 1 minus 3 by 2 times row 3 these are something very very uh, important so you need to be very very careful so the third row now remains unchanged so what is the third row third row is 0 0 1 4 by 5 uh, 1 by 5 and minus 1 by 5 right uh, the second row will uh, remain this will remain 0 this will remain 0 and uh, I am multiplying the third row by 7 by 2 so 7 by 2 minus 7 by 2 will become uh, sorry this will remain 1 I made a mistake here just give me a moment this will remain 1 and uh, this will become 0 here right and here 3 by 2 and minus uh, 7 by 2 into uh, I, I write here you have just for some calculation you have 3 by 2 in this place and you are multiplying 4 by 5 by minus 7 by 2 so minus 7 by 2 into 4 by 5 so how much you get you get uh, minus 28 by 10 and uh, it is uh, 15 by 10 so you will get minus 13 by 10 so this element will be minus 13 by 10 now you have 1 by 2 here and you are uh, subtracting 1 by 2 minus 7 by 2 times 1 by 5 so how much you will get you will get 1 by 2 minus 7 by 10 so it is uh, 5 by 10 minus 7 by 10 so this element will be minus 2 by 10 and uh, this element if you multiply it by 7 by 2 so minus minus plus 7 by 2 into 1 by 5 so 7 by 10 so it will become 0 plus 7 by 10 is 7 by 10 right the first row it will remain 1 uh, it will uh, remain uh, you know 0 right because uh, you are multiplying the third row by 3 by 2 so it will remain 0 and here you are multiplying uh, minus 3 by 2 right so uh, the purpose of uh, multiplying this was to uh, make this 0 right now uh, you are multiplying the third row that is 4 by 5 into minus 3 by 2 and what what element you have you have 1 by 2 here so you can see 1 by 2 uh, minus 3 by 2 into 4 by 5 so how much you get you get 1 by 2 minus 12 by 10 right so it is like uh, how much uh, it is uh, 5 by 10 5 minus 12 means minus 7 by 10 right so what element you will get you will get minus 7 by 10 okay 
so I am writing minus 7 by 10 here now you have 1 by 2 in this place so 1 by 2 and minus 3 by 2 into 1 by 5 so how much you will get uh, you have 1 by 2 minus 3 by 10 so 1 by 2 is actually 5 by 10 minus 3 by 10 so what we get is 2 by 10 and finally you have 0 here and so 0 and minus 3 by 2 and uh, into uh, minus 1 by 5 so minus minus plus 3 by 10 and 0 plus 3 by 10 is equal to 3 by 10 so this matrix I have got identity and what I have got is the inverse matrix here so for our convenience so just to make uh, uh, the things clear what I am going to do I am going to write the inverse matrix over here so that you don't get confused and you can verify that the inverse that I have got is correct or not so I am writing the inverse here so first row is minus 7 by 10 2 by 10 and 3 by 10 the second row here is minus 13 by 10 uh, minus 2 by 10 and uh, 7 by 10 and what is the third row third row is 4 by 5 uh, 1 by 5 and minus 1 by 5 and this is the matrix that we have got so please do verify that the answer that we have got is correct or not and let me know if you have any doubt so basically it is all about computation and to get confidence you need to do some problem solving so first thing that you need to do is that take the same problem and try to do the operations on your own or take any non singular matrix and perform the operation the idea is the idea is simple that if you take any matrix any matrix first of all you have to get a one here so if suppose there is an element like two here so i need to multiply the first row by uh, one by two so once we get a one here i have to make everything under that zero now I will take a make a 1 in the 2 2 position I will make a 1 in the 2 2 position and I will try to make everything above and below that 0 then I will make a 1 in the 3 3 position and I will try to make everything above that 0 so this is just the computation part right so and only way to uh, you know be confident about the computation part is to be able to uh, solve some problem you need to do some practice right so this is all for this video in this i uh, talked about the uh, gauss jordan method of finding the inverse in the next video i will be talking about the cali hamilton theorem and that will be the last video in the series of matrices in case if you are new to the channel please do share with your friends and let them know that i am creating videos which will take care of all their engineering math requirements so that is all for this video thank you for watching and have a nice day